Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to Variant One Shot, I'm your host, Eris Quinones. Now about two weeks ago, the mid-season finale of Flash aired on CW. And since I really like the show, and I'm sure most of you guys do too, I wanted to give you my thoughts on the season finale, particularly Reverse Flash. Also, I wanted to warn you guys, there's gonna be spoilers in this episode. So if you're not caught up with the show, this is your warning. And spoilers start now. First off, Barry finally told Iris that he loves her, although it's probably too late because she's dating Eddie and moving in with him. But I really like how they chose this episode for Barry to tell Iris that he loves her, mainly because it was also the Christmas episode, so to me it felt more impactful since it was right before Christmas, the time we're supposed to be really close to the ones we love. So that alone is a pretty big milestone for the show thus far, as the series has been building up to Barry telling Iris he's been in love with her ever since they were little kids. But no, no, they didn't stop there. We finally learned, well, sort of learned, who Reverse Flash is, I'll explain why I said sorta in a second. At the very end of the episode, we see Dr. Wells going into a secret room where he has a flash ring and accesses the Reverse Flash suit, which tells us all that Dr. Wells is Reverse Flash. Or is that just what the writers of the show want us to think? I personally believe this is just misdirection from the writers. Now, obviously Dr. Wells is working with Reverse Flash, I just don't personally think he is Reverse Flash. And here's my theory why. There's a scene in the episode where Barry, Dr. Wells, and so on trap Reverse Flash, but of course he escapes and kills every cop in the room except for Eddie. Which later in the episode, Eddie even asked, why did he kill everyone except for me? Now, we all know Reverse Flash is from the future, so I think he didn't kill Eddie because Eddie is Reverse Flash. So if you kill your past self, your future self doesn't exist. Also, the motives are all there for Eddie. We recently see in the past several episodes that Eddie doesn't like the Flash and is trying to bring him into custody. On top of, in this very episode, like I said earlier, Barry tells Iris that he loves her when Eddie is currently dating her, which would cause Eddie to hate Barry. So if he ends up hating Barry on top of already hating the Flash, then eventually finds out the two are the same person, that could make him go crazy and want his own powers and then just go after the Flash and make his life miserable. And lastly, Eddie's last name is Thon, and all of us comic book readers or diehard Flash fans know Eobard Thon is the second reverse Flash in the comic books and the most well-known reverse Flash. There's been several different reverse Flashes over the years in the comics, but I'll get more into that in my History of Reverse Flash episode that I'm gonna do January 21st, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, Eddie's last name is Thon, so I think he's a TV show version of Eobard Thon, but I could be wrong, this is just my personal theory, but if you have your own theory, leave it in the comment section down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. But now I want to thank the people who made this one shot possible. Domain.com because no domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is reliable, affordable, and easy to use. Save 15% off .coms and .nets at Domain.com with the coupon code variant because when you think domain names, think Domain.com.